Disasters around the world can be traced to the burning of fossil fuels, dumping of toxic waste, and the reckless arrogance of greedy corporations such as Sludge Co. The Earth is in crisis due to the hand of man. Green Guy patrol the planet. Now to give that big hand a slap on the wrist. Super Green Hero style. Super Green Hero, you have saved the planet. Saving the planet requires lots of time, imagination, and everyone doing their part. Powering this TV with my video cycle is saving at least half a fluorescent light bulb's worth of energy. And now you can do your part. Announcing the first annual Being Green competition. The student who comes up with the most ingenious way of helping the environment will appear with world-renowned environmentalist David Suzuki on national TV. David Suzuki? He's the guru of green. This could be our chance to really make a difference. And my chance to really be on national TV. Just upload your video entry and send it to... <laughs> Someone get my solar-powered heating pad. Ooh, you got some seriously sweaty dogs, dog. <laughs> the contest website is ultimategreedy.com. Hi, kids. I'm David Suzuki, challenging all of you to come up with the most Earth-friendly idea you can, an ecovention. We can all be winners, but I'll personally award one of you with this, the ultimate greenie. Mmm, it tastes like kale. Saving the planet and hanging with an environmentally aware celebrity on TV? I am so gonna win that contest. <laughs> okay, green ideas, ecology, the planet, and do-gooder gimmicks. What am I missing? About three tons of trash? Yeah, dude. Grab a sack and help us recycle. Eh, been there, crushed that. To snag the judge's eye, I need something big, jazzy, hooky. <laughs> Anybody know Birdie CPR? You want to win the contest? Why don't you start with your big brother? She's running louder than ever. Sweet. What do you think you're doing? Go homework. I can't save the planet with all this noise. That's it. 
the perfect way to help the environment was right in front of me the whole time. E, I don't think your dog digs being a polar bear. Well, can you blame him? His iceberg is melting. Iceberg? Today, please. You're lucky my mom's deli meat of the month club comes packed in styrofoam. Okay, new environmental catastrophe for me to fix. There's a radiation leak at the Burnaby nuclear reactor. Except Burnaby doesn't have a nuclear reactor. Well, some cardboard boxes, duct tape, and a little imagination will take care of that. And after you two shave your heads... No way! Ian, I am tired of your cynical attempts to win with your phony baloney eco projects. Hmm, <laughs> baloney. <laughs> and too tight. You're abandoning me for lunch meat? Oh. Where's Mom? I need her to make that special lime jello that looks like radioactive waste. Oh, afraid you're out of luck, son. Tonight's her organic baking class. That's why we're having Ken Kelly's Kick Hinder Chili! Yeehaw! Yeah. you! And thanks to my new all-synthetic suit from Fashion Co., a division of Sludge Co., <laughs> it wiped right off. So it's like Food Fight Proof? Let's test it. <laughs> oh, easy does it, boys. You, you want to save some to eat, don't you? <laughs> awesome, Dad. You look like a mutant creature spawned from an industrial accident. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> yeah. Who wants some of Mom's B minus tofu cake? <gasps> oh. <gasps> Ken Kelly, I thought we agreed you were going to buy the boys pizza. Um, uh, kind of use the money to buy this spiffy new self-cleaning suit, hon. Look, <laughs> you can see yourself. Oh. Oh, at this rate, I'm never gonna come up with a project that'll impress David Suzuki. No! You didn't just say... David Suzuki? Oh! Oh! Huh? Uh, Dad? Mom? What's the deal with you guys and David Suzuki? Ixnay on the Uzuki say. Ah, <gasps> oh, it was a long time ago. <laughs> Compost worms accelerate decomposition of food scraps that would otherwise produce methane and greenhouse gas emissions. <laughs> oh, David, you make my whole world compost. No, oh, it's the worms doing all the work. Sure. <laughs> Vicky, I wrote this song for you. It expresses my deepest feelings for the only girl I'll ever love. Ken Shush, David's on TV. Can you come back during the commercial? Prefabricated structural oh. insulated panels have an excellent <laughs> thermal A bean green contest, huh? No, oh, that's so like my David. Uh, you're David? Yeah, I mean, Dr. Suzuki. Hey, maybe I'll enter that contest too. What? Uh, Mom, the contest is only open to students. I am a student. That's my midterm all over your dad's face. <laughs> Relax, Ken. You know I only use natural cleansers. Eyes stinging. Can't see! Oh, boo hoo. I'll get your eye drops. Uh, Dad, why is Mom acting so goony? <laughs> well, I guess you're old enough to know now, Ian. Your mom's got a love Jones for David Suzuki. Ew! My ears! No, oh, there's no competing with that eco heartthrob. And if your mom wins that darn good for the planet contest and actually meets him? <sighs> Don't worry, Dad. No way Mom's gonna win. 
Trust me, I'm one eco-epic away from taking home the ultimate greenie. Here you go, Weeping Willie. Mind if I borrow your digital doohickey for a bit, Ian? BTW, Mom. You look through this end. <laughs> <laughs> Already came up with a little contest idea, did you now, huh? Yep. Neutralizing the carbon footprint of my fossil fuel abusing family. Uh, question? What did all those fancy $2 words mean? It means that Kelly's are going green. For example, no hubby of mine is going to be a walking ad for companies like Sludge Co. Take off that petroleum-based suit. But, but, hon, all my duds are made with some kind of synthetic fiber. Not anymore. Down to your all natural skivvies, mister. Ew, my eyes. Time to take this typical teen off the grid. Old turkey. <laughs> What? Who? Ho? That sound. What is it? Probably just hearing yourself think. Here you go. How do you turn this thing on? Mom, you've uncooled my car. I prefer to think of it as an unwarming the earth, thanks to this dandy biofuel conversion gizmo. I made my son's gas guzzler into a green machine that should run on last night's turkey patty drippings. Let's take a look. Take her for a spin, Kyle! Mom, you've unpimped my ride! Oh, stop your whining and start walking. Use shoe power to get to school! Mom, I need my camera back. Burnaby's about to get washed away by a monsoon of acid rain. Cut in a couple of shots of me courageously carrying the dog through the sprinklers, and I'll look like an eco-hero. Hey, who stopped the rain? Movie set closed on account of conservation. Kellys don't use their shower unless they're dirty, and you fellas will be soon. All in! Come on, boys, it's only been six hours. Let's see some pride. Yes, it's dirty business separating the family trash into recyclable piles, but worth it! Hi, all! Stop playing in there! Corey, newspapers and bottles in the right boxes! Hut, hut, hut! Ian, put that lettuce in our new compost heap! On the double! <laughs> Dad, she's gone too far! You've gotta say something! Uh, 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 your compost pile smells like it's gonna make a dandy fertilizer, hon! <laughs> You want to cross your mother, you're on your own. She controls the TV remote, the groceries, and has final wardrobe approval. Thanks for your incredible inspiration, Dr. David Suzuki. Oh, without you, this Earth Mother never could have turned her family. Kelly Green. Okay, that's a wrap. I'll be in editing. You don't think she might actually win that ding-dang contest, do you? Not only if the judge falls for her really great eco idea, her perky personality, her shameless kissing up. <gasps> I gotta come up with something super green, super fast! I present Ian Kelly's energy saving potato powered clock. <laughs> Geothermal steam powered clock provides time telling fun for the whole neighborhood. Like a daisy? <laughs> I just want to thank you for contributing oxygen to the atmosphere, and I apologize if I accidentally plucked your mother last spring. <laughs> See, I needed a bouquet to butter up this teacher, and anyway, have some water. Dude, macking on a plant? Super lame. Uh, but I can't give up, Ty! Maybe not, but I can't. E, your mom's got all the early ultimate greenie buzz. Hey guys, check out my contest entry! 
the world's first wind-powered toaster. You just have to eat outside. <laughs> and fast. Speaking of toast, that's what I am. Unless some amazing idea just falls out of the sky. Poor little guy. He's exhausted. He'd have to be to land on Ian's bony head instead of a nice butt-friendly march. Huh, thanks for the sympathy. I'm the guy who got hit by a... <gasps> Great idea! Look! Those migrating geese are running out of gas. They need a nice swampy rest stop. And what better place for a goose sanctuary than my backyard? Creating more wetlands would be great for the planet. And it never hurts to give a shout out to Canada's favorite waterfowl. Huh? You're welcome, Honky. <laughs> Honky? He needs a brandable name. Maybe a little sailor suit. Mom's video entry won't stand a chance against me helping Honky and his lovable birdie buddies. Dad, Dad! What's with the hair suit? Not hair, hemp. I bought it to score some greeny points with your mom because it's made out of natural fibers. <laughs> the matching undies were probably a mistake, though. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Well, I've got a plan to win Mom's heart back from you know who, Zuki. Huh. Better than surprising her with these hoity toity high techy solar panels that have installed upside down. It's way better. All you gotta do is dig up the backyard and flood it. Creating a wetland where Honky here and his flock can rest their weary wings. Not bad. Nothing says I love you like giving a gal her own backyard goose sanctuary. So you'll do it? As long as it's on the sly. Your mom's a real pushover for romantic surprises. <laughs> Honky, huh? <laughs> Cute name. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That looks like fun! So, all I'm looking for here is your basic flock-sized hole. Make her deep enough so their little goosey feet have room to paddle. Sounds like a lot of work. Can't we just go back to composting? Yeah, at least sometimes we find stuff to eat in there. All right, stop thinking about your bottomless bellies and get cracking. I gotta skedaddle to the Discount Marsh Supply Store before your mother gets wind of our Suzuki topper. Oh. Don't worry about Mom. She's still trying to enter the contest. Nice to meet you, Mr. Tech Helper. So, I'm trying to upload an MPEG using a high-speed interface. Just a couple of questions. What do interface, MPEG, and upload mean? You want my MPEG to interface with my what peg? Behind me is the groundbreaking of the Kelly home for worn-out waterfowl. I dig what you're doing, fellas. <laughs> Can't believe Dad made him boss of the hole. Well, I'd love to help, guys, but I'm already late for a PR photo shoot. Ah! Okay, Honky, what we're going for here is something that tells the judges, hey, that Ian Kelly's one heck of a goose guy. Birds of a feather, get it? <laughs> then let's do it. On you. Hey! We struck oil! We're rich! We're rich! We're rich! Oh yeah! We're rich! Woohoo! 
Stop dancing! Look! Our rock belongs to Sludgeco? There's a pipeline under the yard, doofus! We gotta stop that leak! I'm on it! <laughs> Who's the doofus now? I don't know! Which one of us tried to stop an oil leak with bubble gum? Double doofus. Fortunately, I've repeated shop class four times. This is a job for duct tape. Just a few more blocks, fellas, and you'll be frolicky in a brand new do-it-yourself box. <sighs> you sure it'll hold? Kept my rear fender on for three months. Oh, oh, I, oh, oh, oh it looks like a doozer of a hole, boys. Yeah. Quick, hide the evidence. <laughs> Who's ready to get swampy? A little to your left. How'd my special green gal like to step into her own private paradise? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Oh, so, uh, how much longer do I have to keep my eyes closed? <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> Try not to swallow, hun. <laughs> There's polywogs in there. <laughs> Ken Kelly! No, sorry for the face full of muck, sweetie. Guess giving you a goose sanctuary wasn't the enviromantic heart melter. I, I love it! And Honky really loves it. As will all the Canada geese who will soon be taking a migration break to frolic in Ian Kelly's backyard. This was all Ian's brainstorm, hon. I just plunked down the credit card. <laughs> well, three. Well, nobody will be prouder than his mom when he wins the contest. I know when I've been all creamed. Thanks, Mom. Don't worry, I'll get you an autographed glossy of a certain global guardian when I'm up on the podium. Timer's taking its sweet time. <laughs> oh, sorry, Honk Man. You should be in the photo, too. <laughs> Sheesh. So much for a nice family photo. You'd think those two shovel monkeys could say cheese. That's why they invented take two. I'll just reset the timer. Kaya, your duct tape patch must have sprung a leak. That's oil. Luckily, I always have a plan B. And it's always the same. Get as far away as fast as possible. Why is this timer taking so long? Corey, Kaya, get over here and bring your pearly whites this time. I'll go find him. You and Dad relax and enjoy your new swamp. What are you waiting for? Peel out! Mush! <laughs> Dude, we gotta find some biofuel. Uh, oh. Ooh, I got oily hair. 
Is that biofuel? I don't know. What about oily skin? <laughs> Hi, guys. Mom and Dad want us to take another family picture. Or Ian's oily feet. <sighs> With some of that compost stuff stuck to it, that's got to be by something. Thanks. <laughs> it means a lot to them seeing us all get along. And... <laughs> ah! Hey! What are you lunkheads doing? More than two sneakers work. Huh, maybe Ian set the timer for ten minutes. How do I get this on the net? A sneaker powered car! Sneakers? How dopey can you get? Yeah, Ian, my car runs on, um, compost. Compost is fertilizer. If you clowns put it in a car, it's just gonna... <laughs> Go? <gasps> I know. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it myself. Apparently, the rotting food scraps and Dad's decomposing polyester wardrobe combine to make some kind of super biofuel. All thanks to your mother's obsessive recycling disorder. My hat's off to you, Vic. Wait till everyone sees that we've invented a renewable good-for-the-planet gas. Actually, huh, not we. Me! The compost heap was my idea, remember? Well, yeah, but... Uh... <gasps> Which means I should probably start practicing my acceptance speech for that ultimate Grainy Award! Thank you, David. Oh, you're too kind, Dr. S. Can I call you Davy? <laughs> <laughs> News of Vicki Kelly's miracle compost heap continues to be the top story with our car-crazy culture. Soon everyone will be able to buy this biofuel bonanza thanks to the announcement of the nation's newest energy company, Kellyco. And because it's made entirely of trash, a tank full of Kellyco will cost a fraction of what you're currently paying at the pump. <laughs> You shovel for a while, Ian. <laughs> of course, I hope to win the ultimate greenie, but the financial success of Kelly Co. will also allow me to make the world a cleaner, greener place for generations to come. How's that corporate logo coming? Just about ready to take your face for a spin, hon. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. I'd be on my way to an ultimate greenie if those two twits hadn't stumbled on the invention of the century. Wait a minute. My brother's doing something constructive? <laughs> something doesn't add up here. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I called you out here because I'm convinced there's something about Kelly Co. Compost. Dude, give it up. Sounds like you're just being a sore loser. I'm with Ty. So you won't win the ultimate greenie on national TV. You still wound up creating this wonderful wildlife habitat. Yeah, fine. Don't help me. But as honky as my witness, honk, I will not stop until I've solved the case of the curious compost heap. Uh, while you're at it, you might want to check this water. It's looking a little murky, isn't it? Whatever, it's a goose bathroom. That is where the true darkness resides. <laughs> I think that's our cue to give the man some crazy space in. See ya, E. Yes, Dr. Honkston. My shrewd deductive skills lead me to believe that something is really rotten in this rotting heap of rotten stuff. 
<laughs> well put, sir. Like Ian's getting suspicious. Get down there and distract him. I just thought of a plan C. I'm on it. Ah! Oh, Kelly Cole's rolling in dough. Hey, nice rhyme, hon, but not quite the message I think we want in our corporate jingle. Fill your car with Kelly Co. It's good for nature, don't you know? Made from stuff that used to grow. Uh, something, 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 no. It's just one line and a melody away from being a song. Mom, I am worried about young Ian. Really? Why? Um, he feels bad because he knows he's going to lose that stupid award. So maybe you should give him an important sounding job or something that keeps him busy and away from the compost heap. Well, Kyle makes a point. My self-esteem got a real boost when you promoted me to VP of jingle writing. Self-esteem, right. That's why Ian needs a job. Just not compost heap security. Me and Corey already got dibs on that. Okay, I'm sold. Now to find my youngest and give him a shot of vitamin B proud of yourself. As assistant compost heap security guard, I am ordering you not to be suspicious. Go away. Oh, or I could. <laughs> Just the man I need to complete my Kelly Co. management team. Uh, Mom, I think there's something weird about that compost. Oh, that's your brother's bailiwick. I've got a better way to chase away your bean green blues. Here. <laughs> What's this for? Go buy yourself a new camera and lights and one of those editing thingamabobs. You're the new VP of Kelly Co's multimedia division. Wow. Thanks, Mom. I'm so happy I've forgotten. <laughs> what was it I was upset about again? The big award I'm gonna beat you out of? Oh, yeah. Being on TV, hanging out with celebs. <laughs> I am so over that. As president of Kelly Co. Multimedia, it is my pleasure to present the Ian Convenient Truth Award to myself. Oh, what a noble gesture, e -man. Anyone can honor others. But Ian had the courage to honor himself. <sighs> you know, we have a great opportunity to change the world for good. So promise me that you'll only use Kelly Code's money and power to promote eco-responsible projects. Deal. <laughs> but first, what say we get you a mink line beat cozy? Kelly Co. Multimedia, please hold. Kelly Co. Multimedia, please hold. Kelly Co. Multimedia, Mom, I told you to hold. Thanks to Kelly Co.'s investment in my vision, soon you will have one of my Master Toaster 3000s in your kitchen. Cut! Oh, let's try it again, but with a little more. Gee, I love toast, but I love Kelly Co. more. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Begley. Afraid I can't get you any FaceTime with Mr. K until after Sundance. Ooh, bummer. I just know if a green and groovy company like Kelly Cole could get behind my video cycle, they'd be power-saving movie lovers with tight glutes all over the country. Uh, just leave your gizmo here. We'll kick it around at the next corporate retreat. Mm. What a steaming pile of stinking trash! You boys have certainly earned your salaries this week. Now I'm off to give a speech at the Burnaby women who earn way more than their husband's luncheon. You think maybe it's time we told Mom and Dad there's an oil leak under the backyard? Or we could go buy stuff. So true. Besides, who's going to notice a little oil? Um, sir? <laughs> Sludgeco's oil production shows a mysterious drop lately. <laughs> Unfortunately, given our cheap fleet of leaky tanker ships and rusted out pipelines, there's no way to know where the missing oil's going. This is terrible news. Once our oil seeps into the groundwater or onto seabirds, it makes it that much harder to sell. I'm afraid the news gets worse, sir. <clears throat> We're losing customers, too. 
See, this shows the remarkable surge of Kelly Co.'s business recently. People, that is our competition. We must crush these corporate hotshots at all costs. Capitalize. But first, go! Oh! Today's top story, the outrageous antics of Burnaby's alternative energy moguls, the Kelly Boys. Canada's national sport was made a mockery of by Kyle Kelly. Hockey game called on account of money. Meanwhile, pedestrians beware. Corey Kelly flaunts his newfound wealth, popping ollies of extravagance on his stretch skateboard. Even the youngest Kelly, Ian, once touted as a future champion of environmental causes, has been wasting his time and tokens on Kung Fu Kickaroo. <laughs> about the Kelly crew and their shenanigans. It's as if you've all forgotten what Kelly Co. is all about. Huh? Hint, please. I'll take it from here, Vic. Kelly Co. is green, green, green. Keeps the planet clean, clean, clean. Treats the Earth like it's a queen, queen, queen. Okay, Jingle Man, they got it. In, in, in. It's the Ministry of Waterfowl. He says it's urgent. Hello. The biggest goose flock of the season? Headed this way. Mom, I'm sorry I strayed from our company's mission, but I'm turning over a new green leaf starting now. With a can't miss photo op of Canada's favorite flying honkers. Oh. It's black and slimy and. Yeah! Tastes like we've got an oil spill in our backyard. Sorry to burst your bubble, Mom. I don't think there ever was any biofuel. Your compost heap is leaking oil. You mean we've been shoveling oil into our customers' cars? Well, oil and garbage. <gasps> but that means Kelly Co's an oil company! The real head scratcher is where it came from in the first place. Plan B? Please! Now this picture is coming into focus. I put these pick happy boneheads in charge of hole digging, plus my good roll of duct tape is missing. Something you boys want to fess up to your pop. It's, it's Ian's fault. fault. What? If you would have helped us dig, you might have been the one to put that huge hole in the sludge coat pipeline down there. What? You'll never guess who's calling you, Mrs. K. Hello? Vicki Kelly, this is David Suzuki. <laughs> I'm delighted to inform you that for developing Kelly Co. Miracle Biofuel, you've won the ultimate greenie. We're on our way now to make the official presentation. See you in a few minutes. Oh, and thanks for keeping it green. Okay, we gotta clean up this hazmat mess fast. Oh, David, is it really you? Starting with Mom. Get your wits about you, hon. We don't have a clue how to clean without your whip cracking. <gasps> Corey, get all the paper towels you can find. Kyle, get my knee pads, my rubber gloves, and my good bucket. Can't shoo all our gas guzzling customers away and take down that Kelly Co. sign. Yes. Ian, we're gonna need a lot of spot remover. Uh, Mom, it's not so much a spot as an ecological catastrophe. <laughs> that the goose flock is about to land in. If I could only lead them away somehow. Right, I'd need some kind of crazy flying contraption, the type of nutty invention that Mr. Begley or Sandy might cook up. <gasps> hey! Wish us luck, everybody! Ian, wait! You can't seriously think you can lead a flock of birds to safety in this... whatever it is. You mean the Goose Leader 3000? 
Just watch us. Right, Honky? He's the Birdman of Burnaby. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on him. You call the ambulance. We showed him, huh, Honky? The Goose Leader 3000 is working just like I did. <laughs> This way, guys! Think we're gonna need another roll of paper towels! I'll keep an eye on him. You call the ambulance. Just a few blocks away from the home of Vicky Kelly, who's about to receive the ultimate greenie. Of course, we'd have been there by now if the esteemed environmentalist didn't try to avoid squishing bugs. You have been kissing up for 17 holes. How about some sneaky schemes to put Kelly Co. out of business? <laughs> Gotta find a place to set these guys down. Oh, 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 oh. Perfect! This way, every birdie! Yeah! I offer you the Sludge Co. Putter, sir. Uh, thanks, but I'd rather have some dry underwear. Uh, or maybe just a towel. <laughs> huh? I never thought my company would concede defeat. But there's no way Sludge Co. can compete with Kelly Co.'s low-cost fuel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> About that. We still have no idea which one of our substandard pipelines is leaking oil. Hmm. I might be able to help you out there, Mr. Sludge. He's cleaning everyone! If Dr. Suzuki sees this mess, there's no telling what he'll do! Vicky Kelly! <laughs> oh, Dr. Suzuki, uh, I'm really sorry, and I don't deserve the ultimate greenie, and my house isn't usually a toxic dump, and I haven't had a chance to do anything with her hair! Don't feel bad. Your oil-drenched home provides me with a useful metaphor. Like the planet, it'll require time and effort to clean up. There are no quick fixes. <coughs> <coughs> See? Whoa. This is where Sludge Co.'s missing oil wound up. Incredible! Ian, I can't thank you enough for your honesty. You're welcome, sir. I can, however, sue you and Kelly Co. into bankruptcy. By stealing Sludge Co.'s oil, countless motorists have been denied their rights to burn fossil fuels. I will see you in court! Uh, <laughs> or Sludge Co. could be a hero for a change. Clean up this eco-disaster and repair its leaky pipelines and tankers so geese like Honky here always have a safe home to come back to. <laughs> well, uh, what's good for the goose is, is good for Sludge Co. <laughs> Ken Kelly, your noble effort to build a sanctuary for migrating geese deserves this complimentary energy-saving fluorescent light bulb. A free light bulb? Oh, 
Thank you, Dr. Suzuki. Vicki Kelly, you went above and beyond to turn your household into a green zone. <laughs> so allow me to present you with... <gasps> They help accelerate the decomposition of table scraps. Ian, I'm really impressed with your environmental efforts. You shamed an oil company into cleaning up its act. That shows great promise as an environmental activist. So, I win the ultimate greenie? Uh, no. The ultimate greenie award goes to... Uh. Have no fear. I shall get it back. Wow! You mean there really is a super green hero? In, everyone can be a super green hero as long as they recycle. I'm, however, the only one with a solar-powered cape that can fly. Up, up, and away! Wait a minute, you won the contest.